Wave 4, tape 2, 5 messages. I just recorded a video, but I really felt like sharing this experience now because, oh my gosh, it was crazy. Very crazy. And new feelings. Wow. So, okay. I'm not sure if it was crazy because I did this tape on a plane or if it was crazy because this tape is crazy. It, I had... I had intense feelings and also a cool thing is that you know at the end of the tape when every tape you have to like cool down get back to to, to land focus one i i got when i was doing that it was the same time as the plane was landing so that was so interesting and it was like really like easy for me to get into focus 10 and focus 12 because i was already flying and feeling like i was floating so that was way easier to do so that, so doing a tape on a plane is a very interesting experience. Five messages? Okay, it's crazy. It's a tape where we are going to try and see or hear or feel a message that's been waiting for us. According to Monroe, we have messages meant for us that we haven't been able to interpret or understand yet. And this tape can help us see messages that are meant for us i hope you understand what i mean like monroe says that we have messages that are waiting for us and this tape helps us get to those messages so the fifth message we, should, we start with the fifth and the last one is the first message so for that one i got two visuals and the feeling the two visuals were of a baby a kid and the feeling was that, get a kid. This made me laugh because I'm not, I don't think I'm ready for a kid. Or I don't think the world is ready for my kid. Like a mini me, I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure yet. So that was a strange message, but I don't decide the messages that I get. I got two visuals and, and a feeling. And the visuals are different. I've never had visuals like this. You know when you have like a flashback a flashback that's what it looked like it, it was pretty fast visuals but it wasn't imagination because it's clear it looks different feels different but it felt like a flashback I don't know if I'm seeing in the future maybe I don't know how what it is but that's what happened it said get a kid so but I don't know about that yet but I guess uh, I'll keep that in mind okay the fourth message I'm not sure I'm not sure what to make of it. I saw a very tall white tower. <clears throat> and I, I was like ch turning around it in the visual. The tower, and I'm like turning around the tower. I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to try to interpret that. And if you have any idea what that could mean, please let me know. The third message was two visuals again of a dog, a small brown dog and the feeling was that get a dog it's like it's, it's like a feeling or like a message you don't hear it but it's like it's like get a dog get a kid that, that's what happened to me so that's very interesting i mean i am i think a, a dog would be really cool i never had one i like dogs and cats i've had cats before but not a dog so i think that could be pretty cool and beneficial in many ways maybe i should get a dog before i get a baby practice a bit but um, that's the message I get and I'm not deciding the messages for the second message so we went fifth fourth third second I I saw myself quickly having an OBE getting up from the plane and walking down the aisle I'm not sure what to make of that maybe I think that means I need to work more do more astral projection out of body experiences because when i asked when i was preparing for that message that's what happened i had like a, a mini out of body experiences of where i'm staying but i am going up and i'm walking down the aisle so i'm not sure what that means but maybe i think that it means i need to I, maybe something is meant for me with out of body experiences and i should do that more the first message which is the most important this message was not from this world. 
I'm not sure what to make of this message. I didn't understand that message at all. I was seeing things that didn't make any sense. It wasn't things that I've seen before. It was not from this world, that's for sure. And I don't know, like, I, I, I need to think about what, what happened with this, but very interesting and very different. So the first and most important message, I was seeing visuals, but they didn't make any sense to me. It wasn't things that we see before. So I'm going to think about that because I feel like these messages are, are so like random but not because of how they appear. So if anything, if I make any breakthroughs, I'll definitely let, let you know. And if you did this tape, please let me know below. I think this is so interesting. So good luck with your journey. I'll speak to you soon. The next tape that I'm doing is Free Flow 12. That's going to be crazy. I already know that's going to be crazy. I think that that tape you can do so much. I think that's the tape where we can connect in other dimensions. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what happens. Bye.